when I uh, started moving about drinking, uh, uh, working about the, doing seasonal work and and and, uh, and I started mixing with uh, my cousins and, and and a couple of uncles that was older than me, and they they offered me a drink, and from from drink it went to smoking, and uh, I it just I, I, I um, in the end I was. Uh, uh, couldn't couldn't help myself. I, every time I had a drink, I, I, I lit a smoke up. If I could go back in time, I would never smoke. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even take that first puff in it. I guess it's a peer pressure with friends and other people around you, especially when you know you you're hanging out with your friends and they're there sitting there smoking and they're offering it to you. It is hard. If I weren't working, I, I'd smoke a, uh, a packet between a packet and, and a half. But if, while drinking, I'd, from two packets onwards, I don't know what it, what it, what it, what it ended, up, ended up to be. I give it away over 20 years ago. So I'd smoke, say, uh, say 25 years. It's a horrible habit. It really is. And it is hard to quit. Because I, I quit myself 25 days ago, so it is hard. And 25 years, I'm proud of him. So, yeah. Through drinking and smoking, and, and both, Heavy. I was going nowhere, and I don't think I'd have been around long enough to know what I've done, what I'm, where I am, where I'm at now, and what I'm doing. I, I, I don't think I'd have been half as what I've, uh, what I've, what I've achieved, what I've done. To cut the habit, I, I did it. I did them both cold turkey, right on the same day. Yeah. Uh, 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 the feeling, the, the feeling's gone now, but the, the craving that I put up with, and, and, and true family, I, I might have spoken to, to you about it. Uh, true family and, and my, my kids and grandkids, you know, it, it pulled me through. Like it wasn't easy. I had a conversation with my older sister and. She just drilled it into my head and I woke up the next day, I, I just said I'm quitting and I haven't smoked since the 5th of March, so. One of the main reasons to me, it was to see my family, uh, my grandkids grow up. And, uh, and, and I, 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 I did that, not, com not completed, but I, I've started that, that journey with my grandkids and, and, and if, if I'd have kept going the way I was going, I, I wouldn't have seen any of them grow up. I, and I guess he's just always there for me, and I don't know, he's just smart, I guess, with all his wisdom and knowledge, he's just, I don't know, he's like a, I don't know, a guide for me, I guess, yeah, and um, I look up to him heaps, he's like my role model. And, but you, you're going to you, you're gonna give it away, eh? Don't smoke no more. Yes, I'm done with it, Paul. Culturally, I, I, I always go culturally strong with my grandkids and I pass, I pass that message on to them. There's no need to smoke and drink because you, 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 the results is, 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 is shocking, especially Aboriginal people. It, it uh, really uh, affects our people. And, uh, well, as I said, the results, it, it, it's, it, it, it kills a lot of our people. I guess every time you say no to a cigarette, your willpower gets stronger, so yeah.